Take, for instance, a gas. In order to understand, predict, and control what is happening inside a gas, we use a model called the kinetic particle model of gases. It assumes that a gas consists of large numbers of extremely small particles. Let's make some observations and see how this model explains them. What I want to do is add an amount of gas to this already trapped volume of gas in here. As I do, of course, you know that's going to increase the pressure. I'm doubling the pressure. I bet you said it doubled the amount of gas, huh? That's the intuitive guess. And you're right. If we double the amount of gas, we double the pressure. This is a representation of the container we used in our experiment with a vast number of gas particles already in it. The particles are moving chaotically in all directions and colliding with the walls of the container. The force exerted on each unit of area of wall is the pressure of the gas, shown here on this gauge. What would happen if we double the number of the particles in the container? There are now twice as many collisions per second against the wall. It will double it, because the number of collisions in a given unit area is directly related to the pressure of the gas. The more collisions in a given unit of area, the higher the pressure.